Okay, so I made a video a while ago and it was sideways because apparently I don't know how to use a camera. So I got to take this hot end off. I might as well do it on camera this time and do it right. So I've already loosened everything, but I'll run it by you. The, uh, took off the fan, two screws, no big deal. Sorry. And now here's the trick. Everywhere else I've seen, they there's like, you know, two screws here and there that, you know, you got to do on the side or some crap. This is my life. There's this tab, right? And it's a, it's this big, it's this arm that separates this carriage from the, uh, um, the meat and potatoes right here. I've already loosened the screws. It's not broke. Anyway, so... Um, if you look, there is, see that notch, that beveled in, flashlights, man. beveled in area right there, stick a Phillips head screwdriver up in there and loosen it up. You're going to kind of want to get it, you know, wobbly, but there's one there and then there's one in the back. Um, I don't know about getting the camera in there. Um, we'll try. Don't get sick looking at it. But I don't know if you can see it, but it should be right up in there somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. I can't see the screen. So you loosen that sucker up. Get it wobbly. Um, a little vertical pressure probably wouldn't hurt lifting this up a little bit, but it's kind of a snug fit. And you can see this gap. But not the easiest thing to do with one hand. Hold on. There we go. So, that's it. That's the point. And, see that gap? Covered in some schmutz. Um, this just fell out. But this notch right here is what's holding that into that. Comprende? So, not that notch. My bad. That's a screw notch. Uh, screw notch. That's the screw you loosened in the front. That's the thing that holds that. Not much small. Okay. So, now that you've got the hot end out. Uh, Next button. Come over here and just unplug the sucker. Don't unplug all this crap at one time. Unless, you know, like you label it, remember it, or otherwise know what the hell you're doing. Because the first time I did it, I mixed up probably this little fan and, like, the other fan. And I couldn't remember which wire. I was like, wait, they look the same. About the same gauge. You know, they were, it was just... Not cool. Anyway, so that's that. And, um, yeah, I think that's all I got to say about that. Horrible. Just horrible. I can't get black ABS to print, so if anybody's got any ideas, I got this Gizmo Dorks uh, black ABS. I've tried everything in the book, and that is why I've got that god awful catastrophe and a jam now. It keeps stripping the filament. Hatchbox. Everything I've tried Hatchbox works fine. But they were out. So I ordered Gizmo Dorks. Got the stuff. Can't get a damn thing to print. Everything comes out freaking just, you know, crap. Stopped right there. It just jammed up. It's, I don't know, man. I've tried every setting I can think to try. I've tried suggestions and oilers and you name it. So if anybody's got some uh, insight on that, that would be bad ass. 
And uh, also, a real quick thanks to everybody who's designing this cool crap. Uh, gives me something to do. Yeah, I had to modify that a little bit, but yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, good luck with you. Got any questions? Ask me. I might know.